Schools across California are spending the second half of a $1.2 billion grant from the state to help them make the switch to Common Core curriculum. The Bakersfield City School District will receive just under $6 million to fund instruction and new equipment among the 44 schools in their district. BCSD covers about half of the schools in the greater Bakersfield area. Officials say they will use more than 4.2 of the $5.7 million to adopt and purchase materials for mathematics. Another $1.4 million will upgrade their technology infrastructure. There are 14 school districts in Bakersfield. California and 45 other states adopted the state-developed standards that aim to give students critical thinking and other schools to better prepare them for college and work life. Well, as districts across the county are preparing for the implementation of Common Core next fall, some districts are already immersed in the new instructional technique. 23 ABC's Mike Card has more on how several districts joined forces to come up with new ways to teach the basics. Teachers are rewriting history and math and English. More like a different way to present this information to students. Is teaching the kids how to struggle through a problem or struggle through an activity and learn how to persevere. Rebecca Bean says the new standard isn't that different from how she has always taught her third graders at BMAT Elementary. And an engaged student is a student that's going to remember and take home with them what they've learned that day. School districts have been hard at work over the past 18 months or longer getting ready for the new standards which take effect next fall. They're much more rigorous. There's a lot more depth and complexity to the uh, previous standards that we had uh, in California. Rosedale, Norris, Fruitvale and Greenfield Union school districts all took part in a joint effort to write the new standards. Representatives from every school in the four districts got together for a total of 22 days last year to create these new plans. These design teams are spending this year revising those units. It's change, and so change is always difficult. Common Core is definitely providing a challenge for them, and it's really providing students with an opportunity to think differently than they've thought before. Take two. The day 23 ABC visited students in Mrs. Bean's class, they were taking part in an authentic performance task involving narrative writing, forming opinions, and speaking in front of a class. It's more fun because you get to do like cool tasks. I like pretending like it's real life and we're actually getting to do something, being on a commercial like we're really being on live TV. There are some parents who haven't bought into this new system just yet, but teachers are asking them to be open-minded. My kids at this point in the year have a deeper understanding and are further along than my kids have ever been. They are the ones who are engaged in the, um, in the instructional practices that are taking place in the classroom. I've even had some of my teachers say, gosh, I don't know if I had high enough expectations in the past. The design teams in this four district think tank will meet again in January and once more in May to iron out the final details before a full rollout in the fall. In the studio, Mike Hart, 23ABC.